by Londoners who were affected by homelessness. Last month, 100 rough sleepers were given disposable cameras to document the city they live in. Joining us now is David Toby, one of the photographers, and uh, Paul Ryan, the director of Cafe Art, which is the organisation behind the project. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Um, Paul, if we start with you, there's been a, a bit of a process already. Just talk us through what's happened and where we are now. OK, so we handed out the 100 cameras at St Paul's Cathedral mm -hmm. in the beginning of July. And so people came from all over London. They came from art groups run by homeless organisations. And um, they had three days to go and take photographs with the theme, My London. So it's quite a broad theme. They can take photographs of people, their friends, family or buildings, places that mean something to them. Okay. And then when they return them, three days later, we've developed the film and we got some judges together from um, uh, Amateur Photographer magazine, uh, from uh, London Photo Festival, Fujifilm, and somebody from Homeless Link. And we had a homeless photographer and they all, they looked at 2,500 photos. Wow. And they narrowed it down to 20. That must and be so, so hard. To, yeah, yeah, it was, and because the, the the quality is amazing, so they narrowed it to twenty. We um, we we blew them up to A4 size and put them in Spitalfields Market at the beginning of August, and the public voted on the ones they liked the best. Yeah, and then from that we chose the calendar. So we're pr we're printing it now. We're designing it now, and it's going to be printed next month. I think we can see some of them now. We've, we've passed yours, David, already. <laughs> yours is, is uh, the person who's sitting down with the, the supermarket trolley next to them. Where did the inspiration come from? It was literally, it was the very first photo I took right. on the actual camera. Um, I just walked from picking up the camera, um, and I was walking down the Strand, and I got to the Royal Courts of Justice, and he was sat opposite the Royal Courts of Justice, and I thought, oh, my God, that... That's just perfect because yeah. it, it's just two worlds. And I went and sat with him, and I, I sat with him for about two hours, um, just chatting. And I asked whether I could take a photo of him, and he was so nice. And I remember just one thing that really sort of gripped me about it is that he he said there's one thing he misses about being homeless, and that's not listening to music. Right. Yeah. I mean, this is this is your picture. Um, which will go into the calendar, and as you, it is striking in that kind of way. Just talk us through a little bit about your your background, because you found yourself in, in difficult times. Yeah, um, I'm an ex-soldier. Um, I used to cook for the Queen. Um, I had, I was a very successful businessman. I had pub restaurants in London, two of them, um, which I part run and owned. Um, and I had a stroke back in 2011, which then led to a sort of domino effect really of um, bad luck and bad health. Um, I was diagnosed with cancer, um, I was diagnosed HIV positive, hepatitis C, um, I was in and out of hospital with depression. Um, I, it got to such a stage that I was ending my life um, in Highbury Fields and I was resuscitated on the fields and from that you can't really go any lower than death. Um, so really, in a way, it's having projects like this, which I nearly didn't turn up for. Like last year, I nearly didn't turn up for it. And I remember I arrived at the place and I couldn't even talk to anyone. I picked the camera up and I was gone. This year, when we launched the uh, competition, I did a whole speech in front of like nearly 200 people. So to go from not being able to talk to anyone to being able to talk, well, to talk to you today, to have the confidence to do that, um, it's amazing what a disposable camera, what, what it can do for your self-esteem. Yeah. You are now looking for support to try and make right. sure that these pictures that have been selected and the calendar get out there. W what help do you need? Uh, well, we've got a crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter, and so that's running for 30 days. So we, we're asking people to pre-order pre the, the calendar or prints or photographs. They can buy any of the photographs online. And um, if they buy it before the 19th of September, we'll be able to get that money to print the calendar. It'll also help us decide on whether we print more or not. Um, after the 12th of October, on the 12th of October, we have an exhibition at Spitalfields Market. So we've got, to, we've got the arts market for a whole week. They've given us the arts market going to hang all the photographs and some paintings as well and so we'll be we'll be selling it there so if people don't buy it online if they want to go down and support us at Spitalfields we'll be selling it there 
and then after that, every weekend until Christmas. So it the, 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 would be great if people just order it online. If we've, we've cut the price by 10%, so it's actually cheaper online than it will be from October. There we go. Okay. Paul and David, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We are out of time, but lovely to hear about the, the project. Uh, you're watching London Live News.